Hey everybody, it's Luke over Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a review on how to add a second hard drive and upgrade your RAM in the Asus ZX53 VW laptop. This is a gaming laptop that I did an unboxing on uh, the other day. And I had a subscriber that wanted to know how to get into the bottom of it so that you can add something like an SSD drive or an extra RAM module. This will take up to 32 gigs of RAM, so you could uh, do two 16s. It does have two uh, slots inside it. Uh, obviously, the first thing we're going to want to do here is make sure that you have it on something so you don't scratch up the whole laptop itself and flip it over. And you're going to see around the laptop that there are uh, 10 screws around the laptop as we go around here, just around the outside. Um, we go through all, you're gonna have to remove all 10 of these screws to get into the laptop itself. Now there is a hidden 11th screw under a rubber piece in the middle that you will have to watch out for. So there are 11 total. And what we're going to do uh, to pry up that rubber piece uh, is I'm going to get a, a very small flathead screwdriver here uh, and then we will be able to uh, pry up that rubber piece. You want to just be real careful about prying that up uh, so you don't scratch the bottom of your laptop obviously uh, or damage the rubber piece. Uh, you can just kind of get into the corner with a very small flathead screwdriver and just peel it up and as you will see uh, there is some sticky on the bottom here that will uh, take it back down or tack it back down when we're done with it. And there's that 11th screw uh, that uh, has eluded uh, people trying to do upgrades on this laptop. So uh, th this is pretty simple. We're going to change this out from a flathead to a size zero Phillips. Uh, and once we do that, uh, I'm gonna speed up the video here so you don't have to watch me unscrew 11 screws. Uh, and then I will be back. Okay, so now that uh, you have all the screws out, you're gonna see that along the laptop, there's a seam in the middle, runs all the way around the laptop. And I found the best place to get a fingernail in uh, and loosen them up is right in the front here. Uh, so you can do that. Uh, it doesn't take much pressure at all to release the tabs uh, and you can get them in the front. And once you have a few of them in the front released, you will be able to lay the laptop down uh, to give it a little bit more pressure around the corners and you can just pull up and they are just plastic tabs so be careful when you're pulling them up uh, they're pretty well built on this model though so you don't have to worry about it too much you'll just go around the entire laptop and uh, release the tabs and once you have the tabs released uh, voila you have the back plate off so 11 screws and a little bit of effort and you're good to go. Now that we're in the inside of the laptop, uh, you're gonna see a couple different spots. Uh, on the left-hand side, you're gonna have your second hard drive bay and the rails, uh, top and bottom here, uh, are held down by four screws. You'll unscrew those, screw your hard drive in to those rails with the four screws that they give you in the uh, laptop box itself, and then you'll just plug it right in. So very simple and easy to do. They do include the rails or did when I bought it uh, and you should have no problems adding a SSD or mechanical hard drive into that bay. You also have access to your M.2 SATA drive here and then underneath this flap here, you're going to have access to your second of two RAM modules. Uh, or slots, you do have two slots. Uh, there is an eight gigabyte already in there and you can add another one for 16 or you can just add two 16s for a max of 32 gigabytes. Pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, those are pretty much the only three things that you would be upgrading. You may wanna clean out your fan over time so that this would be how you would do that as well. Or maybe even re, uh, place the battery in the back. That is that long portion in the back there uh, that is a built-in battery. It's just held in uh, by one, the screws of course, but then once you remove those by uh, just a connector to the main board. Uh, and over time you may have to do that. To uh, reverse your steps, all you have to do is just make sure, and I like to start in the back, that the clips are clipped in and then go around uh, all the sides, putting a little bit of pressure to reclip these back in. 
And then once you get them pretty good, you can pick the laptop itself up uh, and just go around corner by corner, make sure that you get all the clips snapped back into place. And that is pretty much it. Once you have those snapped into place, uh, you can set it back down and then we'll just reverse our steps here. Uh, and uh, I will fast forward through that so you don't have to see me put 11 screws back in, but uh, I'll be right back. So there you have it. That's how you get into the Asus ZX53VW to upgrade your uh, RAM and also to upgrade your hard drive or add a second hard drive. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like and subscribe and I will check you guys out on the next video.